officially defined as a favorable or desired outcome or the attainment of wealth, favor, or eminence. But often, the cookie cutter definition is thrown aside for a more personal meaning. Success is just what you make it. Doing something good with your life. Accomplishing something. Being able to pursue your passion. Something that you're doing that you love. Success is being happy to go to work every day and being proud of what you're doing. For three students, success comes from following their passions, despite the challenges they might face. Will Kern is an Arizona State University student and the founder and CEO of Arizona Pro DJs, a company with a mission to crush the box of teen entertainment. And I think the true key to success is, you know, part of that is passion. Gabrielle Palermo is an ASU student and the co-founder of G3Box, a more-than-profit company transforming empty storage containers into birthing clinics across the globe. I think you set goals for yourself and you set expectations and when you can achieve your own personal goals and the things that you set for yourself, I would definitely consider that success. And yet another soon-to-be ASU student is looking toward a future in entrepreneurship. But for the moment, he's chasing another dream of his. Nice to the defense, and no one will touch you. DJ Foster is an all-American high school football player, and now he's looking to finish what his older sister started. I almost want to be successful in life and just help the people in my community where I came from and just people around me leave a positive effect on people that I meet throughout my life. DJ Foster is ranked as one of the top 25 ESPNU athletes of 2012. <laughs> Scintillating, awesome, breathtaking, showstopper, jaw-dropping, explosive. I mean, this guy is the complete package. Unbelievable player. What DJ's done here at Saguaro is unprecedented. DJ was one of the top recruited athletes of the year, and at the beginning of 2012, DJ made the unexpected choice to stay home. Uh, this year I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be st staying home and being an Arizona State player. Woo! Yeah, baby. That morning, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, the day of my decision, I still didn't know what I uh, wanted to do with my next step. I think it's funny that so many people got so excited, like, like I can just change everything. I mean, and that's a, I mean, obviously it's a blessing for them to feel that way. And of course, I want to hold up to that, um, to that as much as I can. This place in Saguaro High School is definitely something I'm gonna miss the rest of my life and stuff. So that's why, it's a big reason why I stayed in state too. So when I'm done with my practice, I can come back and watch the kids that were freshmen when I was a senior. The sophomores, I can come to them, support them while they're out here doing practices, stuff that I already did, and give them advice and stuff. The guys that are going to move on to college and stuff, and how to go through the recruiting process. Just about giving back to where you came from. The one thing you know that sports does, you know, bring to you is that uh, that want to, the winning attitude, you know, to, to go on in life and succeed, you know, through adversity, no matter what happens, injuries, you know things tragically happen to you uh, and you just go on in life. And I know if football was gone tomorrow, he would go out there and have a successful life. DJ and his sister were really close, especially the last few years. Uh, they really bonded, really did everything together. Uh, and she was just a good mentor to him, you know, growing up. She always told him, because he was so involved in sports, that there is more to life than sports. Her name is Jennifer. Um, she was uh, like three and a half years older than DJ. He looked up to her. She was very um, funny. And she was very beautiful too. I mean, I know I'm saying that as her mom, but she was a beautiful girl inside and out. DJ and I are, um, we're very close. We are close as a family. Um, I do feel that since his um, sister has passed away in 2009, I feel that our relationship became even more stronger. As promising as DJ's future looks, it hasn't always been this bright. DJ's only sister, Jennifer, died in 2009 from an accidental prescription drug overdose. For me, as a mom, you just never think you have to bury your own kids. I mean, I just never thought of that, you know. Um, and then for DJ, I mean, you know, he had a sister and he always thought he was going to have a sister. Now, you know, he's he has no siblings. 
you know, but life happens and you have to um, kind of accept it and continue to go. The, the love and the support at Jennifer's funeral, uh, I believe we had over 300 people there. I was just, you know, flabbergasted by it. The entire football team came, uh, surrounded the whole inside of the funeral sessions, uh, and it was just amazing, the support and the love of the people that I never knew, you know, we had. It was a very, very tough situation for DJ to go through. He was very close to his sister. Uh, it was come out of nowhere. She was another Saguaro student. Uh, his teammates rallied behind him and were very supportive of him. It was a really tough time. I'm, I'm still don't think he's completely through it. You wonder how can you go on? And yet he knows that people are looking at him. He knows that his family and, and other people are looking up to him. So what he has to do is he goes off and he has his private moments to reflect to reminisce and to uh, just love and get his own uh, memories down for himself. And then once he does that, he comes out into the public where we look at him and we say, hey, this guy's great, he's, he's doing fine. And, and, and so you gain strength off of him because he's showing such a strong exterior. You know, what he's doing is absolutely inspirational. He was noticeably played more angry and as a running back, I can't remember him going down once with one tackle. He punishes tacklers, uh, and I think that comes from his anger of not having his sister with him. Because off the field, he's as good a kid as you're ever going to find. But when you go to tackle him, he's going to lower his shoulder and let you have it. And I think that stems from losing his sister. Although Jennifer is gone, DJ keeps her memory alive through his choices in life. It was a tough choice between staying here and going back there to California. And I don't know, there's something about here, I just felt, I've been through so much here that I just felt the people I surrounded myself with and stuff have helped me through so much, like, that helped me through the struggle. I want to share my success with them as well, so that's why I kind of made the decision. And that morning, my dad actually sent me a picture of uh, my sister and him, and she had an ASU shirt on, and that just, just put the biggest smile on my face, and after that, I knew I wanted to be a devil. DJ can't start practicing with his new team until summer. I'm nervous as hell. I'm nervous as hell. It's going to be bigger, faster, stronger dudes, and you just got to go with it. In the meantime, he's working out on his own, trying to get stronger and faster for the season ahead. It's crazy. I mean, something I'm looking forward to, and I'm glad I'm staying home so I can see all my family and friends in the stands. This is just a, a new experience, and as soon enough, I know once I have a few of those, that's going to become normal. Running out that tunnel, that's going to become normal. And so, just like running out of high school. I can see DJ Foster, his senior year, putting up something like 17, 1,800 rushing yards, 18 to 22 touchdowns. And then, let's add another five, 600 yards receiving, another five, six touchdowns on top of that. This kid is a big time player. If he stays healthy, he is going to be playing at the next level in the NFL. This kid has a special, special uh, skill set and he puts it on display and everyone wants to be around it. Everyone wants a piece of DJ Foster. He's that skilled, he's that talented, he's that humble. I'd never try to think you're above somebody else. Somebody else is having that worse than you, going through the same struggle as you are. You just don't know the other person's story, so that's why it's important to keep a, a level head on your shoulders and just stay true to yourself. This guy's character is unbelievable, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, uh, I'm more excited about that, I'll be real honest with you. I, I'm pretty excited about those 10 touchdowns in one game, too, but... Uh, I'm not predicting anything. I'm just trying to work hard. As long as I feel like if I take care of my business and do what's asked me and work hard in and out of the classroom and uh, on the football field, that's all I can really do. That's all I'm really trying to worry about. I'm not really worried about I mean, of course, I got goals for myself. I do want to play as a freshman. I do want to do a lot of things and stuff, but... I mean, whatever happens, happens. As long as I take care of my business, I'm not really worried about it. My definition of success is scaling the mountaintop without the words, I can't or I quit. That doesn't exist. If your efforts are better applied to a group that already exists and you can give your knowledge and your passion um, to something that already exists, that can be success. Whether or not some goals or, or some things that you're doing you succeed, 
Um, I think the journey, and if you can succeed in the journey and learn as much as you can, that's where success can come from. Success uh, is basically, you know, being happy in life. You know, where you can wake up in the morning and you're happy with what you've done in the past and yesterday. Uh, tomorrow's not given to you. Will, DJ, and the team behind G3 Box have worked tirelessly to make their dreams a reality. But the truth is, success is defined by the many. Success to me is working towards your goal and achieving it. Success is being able to help as many people. Success to me would be accomplishing something that I think is just amazing. Success is what you make it.